All right, let's do this. Okay. You want to do my intro? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, welcome back to another video, guys. So back here we got the 2022. Street Bob, beautiful. If you guys haven't seen the review video, it's already up. Um, but main reason why I wanted to have this little discussion is because I kind of wanted to take, I wanted to get your take and your take, being that you guys have had several bikes, you as well, and I mean, I'm getting up there little by little. Um, kind of get your take on what you guys think about the Street Bob um, as far as uh, it being um, a beginner's bike or being just like a secondary bike. Especially you guys have several bikes, I want to get that uh, from you. So first things first, let's talk about the bike real quick. What do you guys think about the the new Street Bob and everything that has new for 2022? Key features, what, what kind of stands out to you? What do you guys like? I like that they put the 114 in it. The 114? Yep. Yeah, I agree with that. Huge difference from the 102. And you, you can feel it. You can feel it big time. The 107. You definitely feel it. Yeah. 100%. Um, the two up, it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I right. like the graphics on the tank. That's, yeah, number one. That's clutch. And the paint oh, jobs, like the, especially the Baja Blue. And the mini apes. Yeah. So if you don't want to put money into your bike right away, you can use this as a daily, you know what I mean? Like exactly. You can use yeah. it regularly, comfortable, you don't have to spend money right away. It's already like... It comes with the apes, mm -hmm. it comes two up. I like the wheels, the mags, because I wasn't really a spoke person. The, the mags are, are pretty... Uh, I like them for this year, man. I like I them a lot. Yeah. I prefer them over the spokes. Really, really cool. Um, now, being that you guys have bikes, if you were looking for a secondary Harley Davidson bike, because really quick, everybody, people don't know what you have. What do you have? I have the 2022 CVO Road Glide, blue steel. Ooh. I have the 2021 Pan America. Nice. White and orange, right? White and orange. And I have a BMW S1000. Double S1000. R. Double R. Jerry? I have scary. a uh, 2021 Black Pan America. I have a 2018 Anniversary Street Glide. And I have a 1999 Night Train. Nice. See, you guys are Pan Am Buds, man. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I copied them. Pan Am yeah. Buds. I got, I got his permission though. <laughs> and not the same color, thank God. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, um, question. If you only had your CVO, and you only had your Street Glide, and you were looking for a secondary Harley Davidson bike, and be honest, if it's not this, it's fine. Um, if you were looking for like a soft tail to have as a secondary bike, what would it be? And if it's not this, it's fine. <sighs> well, I kind of went through that already, and I had, I had the Lowrider S. So... If you ask me that question now, I probably might consider this one. Over the Lowrider S? It's a it's a huge price point. It it, this bike is around fifteen thousand. The Lowrider is thirty. If it's 000. a beginner bike and you don't know if you're gonna get into it, you know what I mean? Like you don't know how much you're gonna ride. You're not really into it. You're just starting. You're scared or whatever. This is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And you can go two up right away. You don't have to worry about yep. pegs or rear seat. Mm -hmm. It would be for me. It'd be between this and the low rider S, but it'd be more about uh, placement of my arms because I'm bigger and and the pegs and everything. Well, you're more comfortable on this bike than when you're on the low rider S, no? Yeah, except for the shift or the shift is a little high. But no, but that, that's that, it's yeah. just adjusted. But this, yeah, I, I can feel more stretch. I can stretch out a little more because you don't have, you have the apes and then the seat sets you back. So for me, as a second, like this would be like you said, a round town bike. Uh, 
you know, to work by something local. I'm not doing. I'm not gonna be crushing yeah. 600 miles on no. it. No, no. It would be. It would replace. It would replace my night train if I had to replace. This anything. is this type of bike that you know, if you're off from work on the weekend mm -hmm. and you want to ride around town or go to the bar, take a little ride here and there, go to Bear Mountain, come back. Perfect for that. Or if you want to do some crazy shit and blow it out to a 131 and smoke everybody around because you better put seatbelt on. Yeah, I just gonna <laughs> say. Right now, this thing. Like, yeah. You punch this thing, and it goes. You're you're hanging on those eggs, yeah. like yeah. yeah you'll slide it's, back it's, in it's the seat. It's powerful. Yeah, it's it's a light frame bike with, with a powerful engine mm -hmm. and easy you to know, handle. It's very 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 nimble, very nimble. Bike. This would be perfect for my wife if she wanted to get back into riding. So you're saying it's a girl's bike? No, I'm saying that. <laughs> <laughs> no, the problem is she had a fat boy, but it was a little heavy. And then she used to ride my V-Rock because it was lighter, but this is the perfect weight and no, height for her. It is, because it, it sits very low. Yeah, so the, the low rock is too heavy for her. She said it's harder to put on the- I'm 5'7", and look, I have a yeah. slight bent in my knee right here. Very my wife's like 5'9", but- I was, I was comfortable on it, even with the stock seat. Yes. Yeah, it, it's not yeah. bad. If, it, if it's for around town- This bike you can change very little. Bad. Like even if you don't want to change your toss and just do slip-ons, mm -hmm. and you got the perfect setup. The slip-ons that I had on my low rod rest, they, the Vance and slip-ons, yeah, those perfect. things sound amazing. I would go two into one, but if you just didn't want to do very minimal, just change your pipes and you're good to go. Yeah, I honestly, and me personally with this bike, I, I love the whole club style look, but due to the fact that this bike is like one of Harley Davidson's classic looking bikes, mm -hmm. I leave it as is. Yeah, exactly. As is. Like it, it just that's just the look. It, it looks really, really cool. Yeah, man. and you got a little pad on the back to slap your girl and take her off the bike. It's an LED light too. Yeah, LED. Yeah, LED highlights. It's a projector, it's not a I mean uh, it's a reflector. LED, yeah, yeah. Not mm -hmm. a projector. Not um But it's still LED. This <laughs> one in particular comes with the LED turn signals because Bergen Harley Davidson um, added, that. added them on. And the wires. Docking hardware and, and the red wire. wall, spark plug wiring. Um, which guys, if you are in the area, check out Bergen Harley Davidson. Uh, so a huge shout out to Bergen for lending me this bike for the day and doing little projects with the guys. Um, we're gonna be doing a lot, a lot of more stuff that way. So if you guys wanna see more content like this, drop down below what type of bikes you wanna see me take out. What do you want to see me review? Or if you guys want to see us do something together, maybe Bergen will let us like loan us three bikes. You gotta talk to Mr. Phil. Hey, Bergen. Yeah. Pan America Day. Hmm? Well, that's coming. That big, well, shh, no. <laughs> no, nobody knows about that yet. But yeah, something like that's coming. Um, yeah, Street Bob, to me, I think is the best, probably one of the best soft tails on the soft tail lineup. Uh, I mean, you do also have the, cust uh, not the, cust um, Standard. Uh, the standard underneath this bus. Yeah. Standard's like, yeah. I haven't even seen one this year. Did no, they have one there? They have, one? they have yeah, 107s. They didn't have one there. Yeah. I didn't have one. But yeah, you know, this custom get the 107. It's like a $1,500 difference. Well, so, how much is it? It's like 1502 grand. It, it's so like, how much is it? 13. Like it's like third. It's like thirteen nine or something yeah. like that. Yeah. You're better off getting this. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, for that, you're going to have paint options on here. You're going to have two the 114, the two up seat. The ma well, the mags um, are the same. The yeah. Over there is silver. It's uh, basic. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of options, but you know, if, if, if you, you know, if you're crunching numbers, this is gonna be cheaper, like I said. Way cheaper than a Fat Bob, way cheaper than a uh, Low Rider S. Mm -hmm. This is, I think, the best bike for your buck right now with the 114. With the, one, with the 107 before, it was like, ah. Yeah. That's why people were looking at the, that uh, the Low Rider. Huge difference. Huge it made a huge difference. Everybody's looking at these more, a lot more, you know? And it looked great. And you Especially. get the better air cleaner on it too, the, the 114. The high flow, the ventilator. yeah. yeah. The 107, you got that round. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. They, they did a very, very good job. Definitely heading in the right direction. It's a good, I mean, it's a good base. It's like they say in the standard, it's a good base, but this is a better base because it comes with more. And if you don't want to do anything, you don't have to do anything. No. You could, like I said, you could just throw it your girl on and go for a is. ride. It looks good as is. Yeah, you don't need like that low rider. You still have to put a seat on, fasten your pegs. Your girl might be a little angry though. Yeah, she might be a little. Seat's well, that's a 10 minute seat. A little small. Literally. <laughs> that's like, literally I, like, I think it's more for looks. Yeah, yeah, it's more. Yeah, it's more for look and, and, and it's, there. it's usable. Yeah, it's, it's there. usable. It's there. If you, you want, want to take her to ruts or a bike night or something, yeah. just throw on go. But you're not taking her on a long trip. Yeah, you're not going. No, wild. forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Street Bob, is it the right bike as a secondary bike? I would say so. Even a primary bike, if you're better, it's better than a Sportster, I think, for primary bike. Oh, for sure. 100%. Yeah. 100%. But you're up there, the Sportsters are almost up there. I think a 48 is like 12 and a half now or something. Yeah, they're they're creeping up to almost 13,000. Yeah. And with this, this is only 15. Yeah. So for that, I, I get a street bottle. Uh, absolutely. You know, it, may, it, it makes no sense right now to get a Sportster when you, this, you yeah, have a lot of options right here. Mm -hmm. You know, pony up the little cash, the actual ones, and that's it. There you go. 
Guys, that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. This Sal, like, <laughs> you're, you're appearing more and more in the videos now, man. I think we're gonna have to make this a thing. Don't be jealous, Jelly, all right? I was here first, man. Oh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what do you guys think about this whole combo right here? You guys want to see more of this little trio? If you do, comment down below. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Peace.